Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I'm talking about Harley Quinn season number one, episode number, number eight, L-O-D-R-S-V-P. This episode here, we pretty much watching Harley Quinn get into the Legion of Doom. Her dream has finally come true. All her hard work, all her stealing and little antics here and there has finally led to her getting into the Legion of Doom. Even though Poison Ivy kept telling her she said she shouldn't do this, that they're a bunch of they're a bunch of butts and, and you shouldn't be a part of this thing, Harley finally got in. And the only reason why she got in, because she went up against the Aquaman. Aquaman finally makes an appearance in this episode here. This time he's not on the toilet. So, yay. And he 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 he's being voiced by okay, this is a this is a this name is very Greek. Okay, now you got Chris Um Diamantopolis. I think I said that right. Hopefully I did. If I didn't, I'm sorry. But he's voicing Aquaman, and Aquaman still, he like, he's a little bit over the top. He's like a little bit like Clayface, but a little bit settled down a little bit too. And he had a, a nice, fun introduction to, to the show because because um, Harley Quinn and her crew steals his family jewels. <laughs> and he has a nice exchange with King Shark with the whole, you're not my father. And then he said, I'm not what sure. <laughs> it was, it's a stupid joke, but it, I, I thought it was funny. Overall... But her her fight with Pima um Aquaman Pima um got her in introduced to Lex who's being voiced by um Giancarlo Esposito who's pretty much everywhere now it seems like he's every everything I'm in he, everything I watch he seems like he's in he's in the Mandalorian he's um he's he's in this this just uh, this movie with, with Disney with Star was doing Star Girl that's two things with Disney and he's and he's voicing this character Lex Luthor I don't know what else he's in but he's if he if he's there he's there too hey get your work man good for you. But overall, you're pretty much watching um, Harley and her crew get introduced and getting showed around by the Scarecrow and, and, and to the Legion of Doom showing all the gadgets they have, all the stuff they have, all the cool things they can do and all the, and all the resources they have to back them up and their crazy antics to pretty much do whatever they want. And the thing is, though, you're all happy for Harley? Like, okay, well, you're not really happy for Harley, but you, you don't actually... I'm more like Poison Ivy. I don't want to probably lead you to them either. But just seeing her there, she's enjoying herself. It's nice. But then you find that the whole thing is a lie. The only reason why she, Harley Quinn got, got um, introduced to Legion Doom anyway, because they want Poison Ivy. They have been wanting Poison Ivy for a long period of time. They were trying to get her in. They were trying to ask her out. She was like, nope, y'all a bunch of butts. Peace out. But but the thing is, though, they know she, she attached to Harley. And this makes Harley happy. And if Harley's there, well... And she doesn't want and she doesn't want Harley to be a part of them. She gotta come too to make sure Harley's okay. And then you got this whole other story going along going on between Dr. Psycho and, and Cy um Borgman. I love that name. And you find out that his sister lives in the basement because she got turned into a squid monster. Because he was a spy back in the day, and he wanted to, and he wanted his she's a, a scientist, and he wanted his sisters to make him a, a, a monkey squid. For reasons I don't know why. But she kept telling me she didn't want to do it. But because she loves her brother, she said, fine. But things went wrong. The monkey got out, pushed her in there. And said, no, she turned into a giant squid monster. And he, been, and he locked her in the basement. And she'd be pissed off ever since. Screaming and making a whole lot of noise. I had no idea when else noticed this stuff with Dr. Zyko. But it was loud as crap. But then that... But even though it's weird and it's crazy, they managed to mimic min the min min relationship between brother and sister, and mother, brother, sister, squid monster, and then everything was happy until they let her loose on the street and she started killing people. So, uh, oh. <laughs> Overall, another crazy, weird, wacky, fun episode. I mean, you got to see Harley Quinn and finally get introduced to the, the Legion of Doom, and also you got to see Lex play Lex and, and manage to manipulate the manip manip situation because. Poison Ivy rejected him. That pissed him off, and so he managed to pretty much break up their relationship by um actually because he told Ivy the truth that he don't, he don't, they don't want Harley. They don't care about Harley at all. And then Poison Ivy tells Harley they don't want you. They want me. And then Lex calls her Harley to be part of the Legion of Doom. That's the relationship up right then and there. Like oh, he said, wow, you can't believe me at all. Wow, I thought I thought we were friends. You never supported me at all, and then you try to make it about you too, and now that now that sucks. So now they're they're not friends right now. Poison Ivy's upset, waiting for Harley to call her and text her, and she's not. Har and uh, Harley misses her friend Ivy, but she's being stubborn right now. She wanted to text her, but she didn't. And then to make things even uh, to make things a little bit better, even though things got worse, Kite Man made another appearance. 
Uh, I love Kite Man. Kite Man and King Shark are my two favorite characters on the show. They really are. Every scene King Shark's in is hilarious, and every scene Kite Man's in is funny. Ah, uh, I love those characters. I really do. I also like Alan Tudyk though. He just plays everybody, plays everybody. But still, nonetheless, great episode. Really did enjoy it a whole lot. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Harley Quinn. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it. You will enjoy having watched it too. So give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, shut up, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. Like I always say in my dreams of life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.